One of the common foods that everyone has and that is detrimental to our health is oils. It doesn't matter whether it is olive oil, coconut oil, canola oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil, avocado oil, flaxseed oil, hemp oil, any oils. All these oils have negative effects on our health. All oils are heavily processed and have minimal to no nutrients. Did you know to make one tablespoon of olive oil, you have to squeeze 30 to 40 medium olives. When you take olives, they have nutrients. It has fiber, vitamins like vitamin A, vitamin E. It has minerals like iron, copper, a little bit of protein. But when you take olive oil, it is pure liquid fat. It has no fiber, no vitamins, minerals. It has insignificant amounts of vitamin E. So like if you take oils, they are pure junk food. That's one thing. And the other thing is these oils are uh, so calorie dense. Just a tablespoon of olive oil has 120 calories. To burn that 120 calories, you have to either run a mile or a kilometer and a half. Not knowing this, people in a day end up eating four to five spoons of oil from morning to evening. All of this adds up to 500 to 600 calories in a day. Not only that, when we consume oils, they damage the inner lining of our blood vessels, which we call endothelium. Endothelium is the very life jacket of the blood vessels. They secrete an important substance called nitric oxide, which keeps the blood vessels open and allows for a nice and smooth blood flow. When endothelium is damaged, the blood vessels become sticky and lead to the formation of plaque, which we call as atherosclerosis. Over the long term, the rupture of these plaques cause heart attacks. Some people consume olive oil thinking that it is heart healthy that it increases the good cholesterol, HDL, and lowers the bad cholesterol, LDL. But when you look at the long-term studies, people who consume butter and consume olive oil, there is no significant difference in the amount of atherosclerosis that is formed. Olive oil doesn't prevent you from the risk of heart disease. That's very confusing for many people. Mm -hmm. Because uh, in a Mediterranean diet, like it's considered to be heart healthy, and uh, people, a lot of people think that Mediterranean, in Mediterranean diet, people use uh, olive oil. The thing is, uh, Mediterranean diet is also very, very different from a standard American diet or a standard Newfoundland diet. The Mediterranean diet is uh, has a, a rich variety of uh, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and beans nuts and seeds. So Mediterranean diet is definitely heart healthy compared to the standard American diet. It's not because of the oil, it's because that their diet is overall is much more healthier. Not only that, uh, oils also increase inflammation of various tissues. Uh, you name it, like inflammation of the joints leading to arthritis, chronic pains, and along with meats, if you add oils and meats, some studies show that they're also increasing the risk of cancers. You might be wondering how oils increase inflammation and cancers. What research is showing is when you heat up these oils, they're releasing uh, oxidative chemicals which promote inflammation and also cause gene damage leading to cancers in the long term. Not only that, like when you take oils, they are rich in saturated fat. Take olive oil, for example. 14% of the calories come from saturated fat. You might be wondering what's the big deal with saturated fat. Saturated fat increases insulin resistance, leading to diabetes, it's linked to heart disease and causes inflammation. Most of us use oils thinking that it increases the flavor of the food, that it makes the food tasty. Is that so? <laughs> the thing is, uh, the oils, they coat our taste buds. They coat our taste buds so to such an extent that you actually don't taste the flavors in the food. We have seen this uh, uh, thing in hundreds of our participants when they actually 
get rid of oil from their diets within few weeks they start to enjoy the food more they begin to taste the 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 rich flavors and the herbs and the spices more that that they haven't experienced in the same food before so you have been telling that oil is detrimental to our health so how can we cook without oil like every first step in cooking we start with oil especially in our indian dishes so how can we cook without oil let's mm -hmm. see so as you can see our pan is empty and i'm letting it heat and i'm testing it whether it's heated now you can see like it's heated i'm making a dish uh, so you can make stir fries sauces curries whatever you like and i'm making a stir fry so first i'm adding onions and i will let it saute it, it for 1 to 2 minutes as you can see it's not sticking much to the pan and it's turning slightly brown so you can see even without oil you can caramelize your onions and now i'm adding some peppers i have some yellow peppers red peppers I love to add spices. So I'm adding a little bit of turmeric. Adding a little bit of salt and I'm adding a little bit of chili powder. Or you can also use cayenne pepper. So this is the step towards anything. If you want to make stir fries or if you want to make curry so let's say if you want to make a stir fry you can just add rice and the stir fry sauce and your stir fry would be ready and let's say if you want to make a curry uh, I'm making a kidney bean curry so I'm just adding the kidney beans These are already cooked kidney beans. As you can see, it looks like as if it's cooking in oil, but the water from the vegetables, they're giving a nice coating. And I'm adding some cumin powder. It's done. The curry is done. Yeah, we can have it with rice or bread or Indian bread. Now that you have seen how to cook without oil, we want to give you a challenge. We want you to try cooking for one week without using oil. But let's say if you want, uh, if you find your food is sticking, you can definitely use some water, you can use vinegar, uh, vegetable broth or cooking wine. Uh, and try, try that for one week. And uh, you will have fun with it. <laughs> <laughs> and if you have trouble, like, you know, coming up with ideas, definitely you could check the website, giftofhealth.org. We have over 200 recipes, all oil-free. Uh, there are uh, local foods, Newfoundland foods, Indian foods, different tabs you can search. Uh, you will love it and you'll, you'll feel more lighter, you'll have more energy and maybe even draw a few, draw a few pounds and a few pills.